Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. Are you looking for a reliable download center like your Google Play Store or Microsoft Store where you can download the software for your Windows 10 and Windows 11 computers? I understand the frustration of navigating multiple download links and hesitation what it can cause to your computer, right? So today I'm going to introduce you to Wingate UI. It's a software repository similar to your Google Play Store or Microsoft Store where you can download all your software without any hesitation. So let's dive into the video and explore Wingate UI. Okay, so let's go to our browser and inside the browser we have to type wingate.ui and once you type the wingate.ui it will show you the first link which is github right so let's go to our github site and once you are in github site you can do this with the command line right do the shell or you can go to your you can go below and you can see this is this uh, wingate ui you can go to this website and you can download this software Otherwise, you have an option, direct download option, where you can download it. So let's click on it and it will download the software, unigate.ui. Okay, so you can see this is downloading. This is a very small software, just I think just 50 MB software. So this is not going to take much time. Okay, so it's downloaded. Now it's time to install it. So install it for all users. So, okay, go ahead and do that. Click on the yes, click on the okay. And next, next, this is a very simple installation. Click on next, 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 finish. Nothing, we have to do any changes all. Minimize this one. Okay, so installation is completed. And you say that you want to launch it. Okay, go ahead and launch that. Uh, cancel this one. Okay, so you can see this beautiful interface of Unigate UI. Actually, this is the, uh, I would say the advanced version of Wingate UI. And uh, you can see this is the interface of your Unigate interface. You can see discover package. You can see on the left hand side you have a discover patches um packages and then you have a software update then you have a package install package and then you have a package bundle so in the discover package it will discover what other packages are installed on your computer or not in the software update so now we can see this can discover your windows updates as well you can see i have a c plus plus and visual c visual c plus plus then microsoft edge and preview they say that the current version is this one and a new version is available so the current version you can see this is the 14.000 and new version is 15.000 is available right so once you click on this update these packages it will start downloading this packages packages right and uh, let's go to install packages so you can see here when you click on the install packages you have an option where you can see all the packages which has been installed on your computer yeah so these are the packages which has been installed you can click on it or if you want to click uninstall it just click on uninstall we are not going to uninstall any software here we'll do it later so packages bundle and on right so now uh, i just said in the video our thing is like how do we download the software so imagine that when you you have to download any software first you need to find out to the correct website right so let's say this is the Benjib site this is the official site then you have to go and download a zip file so click on the zip file and then you can see they have a multiple option and there are website where you say that uh, there are multiple download option here and there you will get confused where to download it but since you have this software you can see when you type it like here win zip win zip enter you can see this all this winges win zip option you are getting here so you can see the win zip win 27 win zip microsoft store edition then win zip pro then extract and uni universal here so the my question is okay it is showing you this win zip all this wins of detail but tell me one thing like how do we know that whether it is downloading from the correct website or not may it may download it from the false website also right right so what you can do is you can right click on it and you can see on the package detail so you have an option you can see the install install option install as administrator interactive install skip hash check and share this package and package detail right click on the package detail and it will show you from where it's downloading so you can see the home page is winzip.com right and this is how it will download this file um, download winzip.com winzip and this is the version it will download so if you can, you can see this is the hash value also it will compare the hash value before downloading it so that's how you can uh, double check on it whether it's working or not so again just right click on it package detail and you can see downloading from the winzip again winzip site and this is for the microsoft edition again go to the package detail see here so anything you can let's say type the adobe type the adobe here and let's say you can see adobe acrobat pro right reader creative cloud so it will download this adobe packages also adobe photoshop or creative cloud um, you can see adobe photoshop here or the adobe photoshop express here so let's say if you want to download the adobe photoshop right click on it click on the detail packages and you can see here from where it's downloading it's downloading from microsoft the url is is the microsoft.com 
right apps.microsoft.com is hosted somewhere on the microsoft site so let's say um creative cloud where from where it's downloading detail package and uh wait to show that okay so again it's downloaded from the adobe.com you can see this is the official website and then you see the hashing value right so um so guys uh, before you blindly trust on it i would suggest double cross this information and then you download it so let's do one thing let's download one of this uh software let's say winzip on my computer so you can see this is the winzip and uh, I just randomly select this WinZip, right click on it and uh, interactive install. So you can see, it's, uh, you can see it's going to download this, install it, click on the next. I agree, I agree. So simple, like uh, this is the interactive install I have selected that. If you don't want to click on the next, 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 finish, there is another option. I'll just show it to you once. Let it be installed, then I'll show you how you can skip this next, next, finish and all. Okay, so it says finished, fine. Now, let me show you one more very interesting. Now this is installed. Okay, I'll buy the license later. Don't worry. So now this is installed. Now, um, now the task is to uninstall it. How do you uninstall it? So you have to go to the third option in install packages click here and uh, there is a list long list here so i'm not going to find one by one so let's i'll just type winzip oh my name is wrong it's so winzip and you can see this winzip right click on it and you can click on the uninstall right click on it, uninstall let me uninstall it so as you can see this is uninstalling you want to uninstall it yes i want to uninstall it and uh, it is uninstalling it okay uninstallation is done so it says that uninstall successfully and it's gone from my install list now it's time to go go to the package again and and you can see, let me refresh that. I selected the WinZip again to just to show you, uh, it will silently go ahead and install it. Okay, so let me show you the silent installation this time. Last time we done the interactive install where you have to select next, next, finish. But this time, this should be the silent installation. So I'll select the same package, WinZip, and the same package I'll select that WinZip 27 and right click on it and just click on the install. So you can see, this is downloading this packages and you have to select the CS first time and then you can just notice this my desktop here show you all this icons here we go so you can see all these icons here and it says that installation is still in progress okay so you say that installation is successful I know this is not difference than your ad room program so let me show you that you must thinking about it's going somewhere else so let's go to this add remote program and you can see there's a winzip here so this is the, this is the interface um, it take the interface of your add remote program and install this program here so did you notice that um, it this winzip is installed without any user interaction right again you can go back to install packages and uninstall it whichever you want to do that and there are lots of other things also there are like settings um, which you want to tweak anything here, but I would suggest uh, don't touch anything until unless you know what you're doing. So uh, that is important. Again, in the more settings, there are some operational histories are there, like what you have installed, when you have installed. So these things are there. Would you want to do that if you want, uh, if you're using this multiple login computer, where you want to show who is doing what. So that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more videos like it. Feel free to share your thoughts or suggestion in the comment below and let me know what topics you would like to see in the future video thanks for watching the video see you in the next one